Hello, thank you for being here. Welcome to our December 2020 virtual art opening. I am Susan Rue, owner of Ruin Sear International Fine Art Gallery, located at 48 Free Street in downtown Portland, Maine. Before I get started showing you over 80 new paintings that were recently added to our collection, I want to quickly mention that the gallery offers oil painting lessons for all levels from beginner to advanced. We also offer three-day workshops. These classes can be taken at the studio or remotely via Zoom. If you are interested, please contact me at area code 207-576-7787. And so now we're gonna get started showing you uh, some of the paintings that we have. And here we have our first piece by Dennis Poirier. We had initially hoped to have an actual opening for Dennis's work, but as it turns out, uh, COVID got in the way. And so here we are with a virtual opening so that you can watch it over and over again and more people can get to see it and you can share this information with any of your family and friends who might be interested in seeing it as well. Um, this painting here is called Cape Pond Ice, and Dennis Poirier calls these little stocking stuffers. If this is unframed, this is a little four by four. It's on a board, and it has a little easel backing on it, and so it can just stand nice and neat on a little shelf, and they're very adorable. Four by four is not very big and it is $60. You have to remember, depending on what um, device that you're watching this on, uh, it could be that you're seeing this painting quite a bit larger than it actually is. And uh, because he is an impressionist and he paints with a lot of colors and, and small strokes, these pieces could look um, a, little, a little different because you're seeing them larger than they are especially if you're putting this on your widescreen TV, uh, four by four is a lot smaller than that screen. Um, so this is, uh, like I said, a four by four for $60. This here is called Cold Light at the Farm. It is eight by 12, it's an oil painting and is priced at $800. He does just such a wonderful job with whites and all the pastels that are in here. Uh, this is a really lovely painting and actually I really feel that impressionist work should be viewed from a distance and uh, we have you know some of these are challenges with trying to give you an opening online but uh, just keep in mind that uh, a lot of these brush strokes that probably seem very prominent if you stand back from it uh, or a way for you to look at it to see it a little bit more like you would be standing back at it. If you just squint at the screen, you'll see. And the colors, the colors and the brush strokes, they start to merge together. And it's really how you would view the painting if you were um, at a distance from it. I keep squinting, looking at it, hoping that every time I squint, you're doing the same thing. Uh, this here is another piece from his Stocking Stuffer collection. It's called Evening Glow. It is unframed. It is five inches by four inches. It's an acrylic and it is priced at $75. And again, I'll remind you that you could squint at it and it gives you a little bit more of an idea of how it would look. Um, I have them on a windowsill over here. They're just tiny little pieces, actually very, very adorable. This piece here is called Fisherman at Sea. It is 20 by 24. It's an acrylic painting and it is priced at $2,800. Um, Dennis Poirier uh, used to paint with the late Don Stone. And if you know of Don Stone's work, uh, you can see a little bit of familiarity in here. And you can see that um, he definitely had a strong influence on him between the color choices, the subject matter, and everything. This is a lovely piece. And I have to, you know, just tell you early on that photographs never quite do paintings justice. 
Uh, the light in here is really quite incredible. Squint at it, you'll see it a little bit better. And um, if you can get into the gallery to come and view these pieces um, in person, it would just be wonderful because they really are quite spectacular. So this here, Fisherman at Sea 20 by 24 for 2800 this here is Granny Smith Dragon Face. It is 20 by 16. It's an oil painting for $2,400. Um, Dennis has a few still lives that he has done. Typically, he is outdoors painting, plein air, doing scenery. But uh, some of these still lives that he has are, are pretty wonderful. And again, his color usage is just quite spectacular. I'll squint at it, you'll get, you'll get that view. This one is called Hard Running Tide. It is four by six, a tiny piece of acrylic. This one is framed and is priced at $250. This is Moonlight, Moonlight Harbor. It is 14 by 18 and it's an acrylic at $2,400. This is, um, I think it is a very, very um, attractive piece. Typically when people are painting night scenes, uh, there's a lot of blacks, there's a lot of really dark darks, and Dennis just really uh, shows us his, the colorist that is in him. He has made it joyful and full of um, wonderful color and brush stroke and energy in here. And even though we're at a quiet harbor at the full moon, uh, there is uh, a lot to explore, a lot to look at, and certainly not a very dark painting. Um, again, this is 14 by 18 at $2,400, lovely piece. This is a very large painting um, by Dennis Poirier. It is called On the Railways. It is 30 by 36. It's acrylic. It is not framed. It is on gallery wrap, although the edges are not painted. And it is uh, selling for $8,000. It is uh, quite a wonderful piece with a lot of uh, old, old history where they used to roll the boats in and out on big rollers on um, on these these tall I, I don't even know I don't know the right terminology <laughs> these pylons these these uh, big docks that they were rolling them out on so uh, this is quite quite um, quite a gorgeous piece this one is called Portland headlight it is 24 by 20 it's an acrylic uh, the light in here is a little dull in the photograph. Photographs have a really hard time capturing everything that the artist is capturing, and so you can hear me talk about this uh, probably repeatedly during this um, session. I guess it's for us artists, it is, um, it is a good thing that photographs don't quite capture what our paintings capture, because otherwise no one would want to buy an original, everybody would want to buy a print. Um, but if you can get into the gallery, if it's at all possible, we are not having an opening, you can come in and you might possibly be the only one in the gallery at the time. And so you don't have to fear for anything. Uh, I know COVID is, is definitely real and it has a lot of us um, pretty concerned and we are doing everything we can over here to keep everybody safe. And uh, even with our classes, there has not been an outbreak of COVID over here at the Lindsay Gallery. So please feel free and feel, feel comfortable and free to come in here and view these works in person. Uh, Portland Headlight 24 by 20, it's an acrylic at $3,800. This one is called Razzo. It is part of his stocking stuffer collection, Dennis Poirier's stocking stuffers, as he calls them. This is four and a half by four and a half. So again, a very tiny, tiny piece uh, for, it's an acrylic at 7,500, 75, no, I'm not $100, it's $75. <laughs> Excuse me for that, I make myself laugh sometimes. 
Uh, this is sailing off the coast. It is six by eight. It's an acrylic. This piece is framed up. And I want to say this painting is a little brighter than what this photograph shows. Look at all the wonderful colors dancing in here. And if you squint at it, you can kind of see the waves breaking on the shore. It's a, a lovely piece at $500. Here we have Stormy Seas. This is five by 11, so it's a long skinny piece. It is an acrylic, also at $500. And he has great brush strokes in here and colors. You can feel the water on top of the rocks and you can just feel the waves crashing. This is a, a pretty spectacular, piece as far as an artist is concerned, what he's actually captured here. Um, a lovely piece at $500. This is Portland Headlight Study. So this was a study for the earlier piece that I showed you. This is seven by five. It's not large. It is an acrylic and it is priced at $350. It's just really lovely. It's got nice color usage in here. Um, look at the strong, bold colors and darks. They just lead you through the painting. And he's captured a really nice light in here. Some of these would make just wonderful Christmas presents. Um, I hope you're thinking about this as you're viewing this. This one is called Summer Marshes. It is 14 by 20. It is an oil painting and is priced at $2,400. This has a nice lead in there. You just meander in through the water, um, coming in and it just pulls you right in. It's just a, a really lovely composition. This one is called, sorry, I'm losing my place here. This one is called Two Lights. Uh, is 20 by 24. It's an oil painting. Um, squint at this one as well. He's got, he's captured so much light. The beach is wet. You can see that there are people down on the beach. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with two lights, but two lights actually sit inland and, um, and there's the, we're at the ocean here. We're looking at it from a higher a vantage point from the cliff and looking down onto it. It's just a lovely painting filled with light, lots of color, lots of movement and energy. And this is priced at $4,000. This is Johnson Farm Winter Morning. It is 16 by 20. It's an oil painting and it's $2,400. Um, painting white on white. It's a white house on white snow. Um, it's a difficult thing to do, and yet he really gives you a wonderful interpretation that you just you just sense all his forms. His building is very strong, and the colors he is using that dance around in there. He is very good at paying attention to his values, and all impressionists need to be like that because they're using so many mark makings of different colors and different brush strokes that it would be really easy to confuse the viewer at what they're looking at. And uh, squint at this one, you'll just see it. It's just marvelous. And that's what it looks like when you look at it from a distance. And his, his colors, the way he moves you around the painting, the light, the warm light that he has found in here. It's a, it's a very, very lovely piece. Again, this is $2,400 for a 16 by 20. This is really a, a wonderful bargain. Now we are moving to Don Stone and A. So this is the late Don Stone, if any of you are familiar with him and his work. He was very accomplished uh, while he was here. We actually gave Don his last solo um, exhibit. And, uh, and of course, nobody knew it was a solo, his last uh, one before uh, the end. You never know when the end is coming, right? And um, he had 33 paintings here, many of which were very, very large. And it was just, it was just a wonderful night, a memorable night. I will always remember it and how excited Don was to see all, so many of his works um, just hanging in here. It took almost the whole front of the gallery and the amount of people that have poured into here to see him. It was just, it's very, um, it's still very heartfelt when I just think about all of that. 
And this one is called Heavy Seas. This was a painting that I had fallen in love with. And I had asked Don to have it in the gallery. And he had promised that he would take it out of, it was actually in, in Boston at the time, I want to say at the Coffee Society, but I'm not sure. I don't, don't um, hold me to that. And he told me that he would bring it to me, but that never did happen. And I had just recently um, acquired this painting by his son, Caleb Stone. And I'm so thrilled to have it in the gallery. And I was talking to you about um, photography and, and having it such a difficult time capturing the actual light and uh, the colors that an artist works tremendously hard to, to um, accomplish what they're accomplishing. And um, yeah, the, the, the photography is very difficult in this um, stage. And, and I know that there could be amazing photographers out there that could probably capture it just as it is or very close to what it is. But for most of us, that's quite challenging. And so you please keep that in mind as you're viewing this art show. If there's anything that is um, attracting you, um, we could probably try to rephotograph it and maybe catch it in a little bit different light and it might um, help you or or come in if you're available to come in and see it in person. I really encourage you to do so. So this is a, a beautiful piece. Uh, if you look at the rock on the on the right hand side, I don't know if you can if you've noticed it, but there is some dripping water off of it. So the wave has crashed up way up high uh, over this rock, and we have the remains of some dripping water, which is really well captured and. I actually found this spot. This is from Monhegan Island. Don Stone had a house in a studio and lived on Monhegan Island for many years. And um, I found this spot. And when I, I knew of this painting and when I walked down the cliff a ways and I caught this view, I realized how high this was on the cliff. This rock that you're seeing the water drip off of is so high on the cliff and the, the water would have been spraying up that high. Just It was just amazing to me when I realized that. And because over here, it looks like the rock is very close to the water level. The water level is not nearly that close to that rock. And it made me think of how dangerous it was for him to climb down to the spot I was at to capture this shot. Uh, during the storm to uh, be able to work from. Don told me that he used to, uh, rather than just try to take still shots, he would take movies and that way he could review it over and over and see what was happening directly before the shot and, and directly afterwards. And he, it would help him in the movement that was going on. And so I'm sure that's part of why he was able to capture this such an amazing painting. Um, yes, please come by and see it. The light is fabulous on it. I'm so thrilled to finally have it in the gallery. Uh, this is a 30 by 40. It is framed in a very wide gold frame. It's beautiful. It's an oil painting and it is priced at $38,000. This is from a new artist. Her name is Emily Pine. She has just uh, come to the gallery. This is a palette knife painter. Uh, the, all the brush strokes you're seeing are not done with a brush. They're done with uh, a multitude of different palette knives. And this is how she works. This is called Autumn Days. It is 14 by 18. It is an oil painting. And it is priced at $650. We've been trying to bring you uh, more of a selection of different types of works over here to accommodate all of your tastes. And Emily is part of this, Emily Pine. Uh, this is called Fiery Sky. It is 12 by 12. It's an oil painting. It's very reasonably priced at $350. Uh, she is really capturing that setting sun in on a very cloudy night with a little break in the sky where you're just seeing those colors just emerging and 
um, everything else is still in shadow and even the rest of the clouds in the sky we have this very grayed out look and um, with a strip of, of uh, very warm colors in the center beautiful piece for $350 this one is called kissing the sea it is 14 by 11 it's an oil painting and it is priced at $450. I have to tell you, this is one of those cases where uh, the camera didn't quite capture everything that is there. There are some beautiful colors in here. Emily Pine is a colorist, and a lot of the colors are actually um, kind of muted and, um, and misrepresented in here. So if there's anything here that you would like to see again, please let me know and, and I will try to uh, photograph things in better light for you for, uh, so that you can view them better or, or, or better yet, come on in. This one by Emily Pine as well is called Awakening. And this is a 12 by 24. This is, she told me right before the sun comes up and uh, the colors that hit the horizon at the ocean can be pretty spectacular. We have a sky filled with uh, some clouds and um, the ocean is just quietly rolling in and this 12 by 24 for $750. This one is called Golden Sunrise. This is 10 by 8. It's a tiny piece. It's an oil painting at a very reasonable $295. Some of these paintings will make wonderful Christmas presents. A lot of our work is, or a lot of the new works coming in are very reasonably priced. And so please do consider that um, as you're trying to do your Christmas shopping. You don't want to be out in the big stores. Uh, you can walk in here. There are not a lot of people around at all times. And, um, and or, or you can just contact me and I can ship this out to you. So now we have Claudette Gamache, works by her. Um, Claudette is a very uh, renowned pastel painter, and uh, she's very accomplished. But this particular piece is an oil painting, and it's the first time I've seen an oil painting from Claudette, and I'm very impressed with it. Um, her marks on here and her colors, and this is just a lovely, lovely piece. This is called Light. Uh, a really good title for it because um, she's captured so much light in here. It's, it's a 14 by 11, an oil painting, like I said, for only $600. Um, so I was told once, um, for those of you who don't know, I am an artist, and I was told once that if an artist always signs a painting in the same place, which I am somebody who does that, um, that if for some reason you sign a, a, a painting in a different place on the canvas that over time if if you become known or um i guess you would probably need to become known that that painting would be worth more just because your signature is in a different place it's kind of like if you were a coin collector and there's an imperfection or something that's unusual in the coin is it over time is worth so much more than all the ones that were perfect or the same. And so if a, an artist typically signs a painting at exactly the same place, um, when something is signed at a different place, it is worth more. And I think about this when I'm looking at Claudette's oil painting that is so lovely and enticing as just, it makes me dream looking at this. And uh, the fact that she is a pastel artist, but this is an oil painting, probably would come into that category. And I know that she's very accomplished, so maybe you wanna keep that in mind. For $600, it could be a very nice addition to your collection. This one is called Light and Reflection. Again, this is Clara Gamache's work. This one is a pastel. And this is 10 by 10 and it is $500. I just love the way this light is streaming down in the, in the back behind the trees here and it almost looks like a waterfall to me. I just I love the way it's just um, descending there. It's really, really nice. And, 
And, and I don't know if you're picking up on it because like I said, sometimes, you know, photographing art is really um, difficult to really capture what you have. So I'm gonna point it out to you. There are some warm tones trellising down from the left-hand side, but down to where the sun is. Do you see those nice tangerine colors? They're coming from both sides, almost creating a V there down to where well, the sun is, well, the light, I'm assuming it's the sun. It definitely looks like it's daytime. Um, yes, those, those warm tangerines are just absolutely lovely in there. So I wanted to make sure you didn't miss them. This one is called Sunrise on Kennebec. Um, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to be near the ocean or at the ocean and the Kennebec is running close to the ocean where um, Claudette lives. And those hot colors that show up in the sky are, are just um, magical to me. Um, this is a beautiful piece. She's very, she's hitting with some really um, strong contrast, a warm and cool. And it's a 12 by 12, it's a pastel. And, and this lovely piece is just $600. This one is called Low Tide. It is 19 by 16, a pastel. She is capturing uh, the water moving back towards the ocean here. There's so much movement captured in this. It is pretty incredible. If you look at the colors and the values, squint at this one, and, and you can actually see the water moving, uh, just trellising back down towards the ocean. And um, this one here, is let me see i've lost my place it, like i said 19 by 16 and it's 800 dollars this one is called marsh and lily pads such a lovely piece for anybody who is a monet lover look at those lily pads you could just dream in them i love the puddles of purple that are meandering around the lily pads this is a pastel it's 24 by 18 and don't miss other very warm colors out there at the horizon, which is uh, something that Claudette Camache loves to play with. She loves the, the setting light, the rising light, and with all these beautiful cool tones in the front. And look at the lily pads catching that warm light of the sun that is just starting to emerge. This is a really spectacular piece. Uh, you should see this in person. It really is just wonderful. 24 by 18 and pastel for $900. So reasonable to have a beautiful Claudette Gamache in your home. Should really consider this. This is Jessica Flick. Um, she has been in our jury shows uh, multiple times and she had brought us a painting of sunflowers for the jury show and it sold immediately. And as you can see, her sunflowers are very joyful and, and uh, so many people love sunflowers. The colors, the colors are just wonderful. And so I asked Jessica if she would paint a few more sunflowers for us because I'm sure more of you would really enjoy having them. And so she, she did. And this one is titled Among Sunflowers. It is eight by six. It's an oil painting. And it is um, very reasonably priced at $340. This one here, also by Jessica Flake, is called Sunflower Sway. It is 12 by 5 as an oil painting, and it is very reasonably priced at $360. It would be such a happy um, addition to your home, especially as we're hitting winter and the cold is coming. Uh, nothing like bright sunflowers to brighten up any room. And this is only five inches wide. Um, so it would fit very easily in little tight spots where people don't think they have room for painting. Um, look at this nice little sunshine spot you could add to your home. And now we have work from Will Kefauver. Will is also somebody that was in our jury shows. He's been in several of our jury shows and I was really pleased with what he um, is doing. And so I asked him to 
freeing us some more works. And so this is a little collection that he has uh, brought in. It is called Color Study Buoys. Each painting is only six by six. So they're very tiny and it's an oil and each one is three, I'm sorry, $275 each. Or you could have the entire group for $650. They are titled Pink Buoy, Blue Buoy, and Green Buoy. And if you bought them as a collection and you want to have them all together, uh, they could be hung very close to each other, maybe with a half inch or an inch gap in there, and it would give you a really wonderful presentation. This one is called Dawn at East Egg 2. It is 30 by 30. This is a large painting. It is not framed, it is gallery wrap, and it is painted um, all on the outside edges. It has a nice um, contemporary look, modern look to it. And, um, but it also could be, it could be framed up if that is the look that you would prefer to go with your collection. Excuse me, either way it would work nicely. Uh, this is an oil painting. It is uh, priced at $2,675. And I have to tell you that some of the colors in the spray and some of the, there's a lot of beautiful colors in here that aren't quite showing up in the photograph. Um, squint at it, you'll catch a little bit more of the values that are there. I wanna say the darks might even be a little darker than they are. It seems like the contrast isn't quite at the level that the painting is. So again, if you can make it into the gallery, please do so because we have so many new paintings. And for those of you who don't know, we have 3,000 square feet here and we have a lot of art. Um, I'm showing you over 80 paintings today, but there are well over 300 paintings in the gallery. So do come in and um, just feed, feed your soul, if nothing else. Come and enjoy what people are creating. It's absolutely beautiful. So this one here is called Skiff Aqua. It is part of another series, much like the buoys that I just showed you. And so I'm gonna show you three paintings that are uh, the same in different colors. And then I'm gonna show you all of them together. These are 20 by 20. They're oil and they are priced at $13.75 individually. This one is called Skiff Lilac, also 20 by 20, and for $13.75. And this last one is called Skiff Yellow, 20 by 20, oil painting for $13.75. And here, look at the lovely collection all together. I mean, that is not spectacular. Um, I want to say as, as we're moving, I'm going to just back up here if I can. Did I, can I get this right? Look at the colors in this water on the yellow skiff. This is closer to accurate. Um, as I go here, do you see the yellow and the purples in that? Look at, I'm going to try to show it to you again. It's closer than the other one. So you're getting the colors a little bit deeper, a little more muted than what they are. But uh, these are uh, framed in floater frames. Um, unlike the buoys that were framed in a wider frame, and you know, framing can always be changed if that's what would work with your decor. But these are um, black edged floater frames and you have the black rim on the inside, but the front face of it is gold. And uh, they just look lovely together. They make such a stunning collection. As a matter of fact, I have them hanging just as you come in the gallery to make sure that nobody misses uh, these lovely pieces. So as a collection, these sell for $3,695 and it is a savings of $430 from individual pieces themselves. Uh, this is a spectacular piece for, for a house. I highly recommend, and I really hope that someone buys it as a collection because it's just stunning. We also have um, hung them vertically, if that fits your space better. And when you hang them vertically, all of the centers of the, of the boats where the light changes to dark all line up and it is quite spectacular that way as well. It can hang either way. Beautiful, beautiful collection. Uh, thank you, Roca Fava, for these lovely paintings. And here we have some new works from Kirk McBride. 
Um, this is called On the Rocks. Kirk McBride is a, a plein air painter. And so that means, for those of you who don't know what that means, uh, that he goes out and sets up his easel in, in the outdoors and he will paint from where he's at. He is, uh, which is very challenging because the light is constantly moving. And so um, it, it's just a challenging thing to try to capture light and shadow, which he's done very well here. And I also love the, the stream of um, blue sky between the clouds that he has in the sky is just uh, beautiful. And uh, so anyway, Kirk McBride is a, a Maryland artist and he comes to Maine a lot to paint. And I'm not sure where he is at exactly painting here, but it definitely looks like the Maine coast to me. This is 12 by 24 is an oil painting and it's priced at $2,200. Beautiful piece. Thank you for this, Kirk. This one also by Kirk McBride is called Light Air. It's 20 by 20 as an oil painting for $3,000. I, I have a few things. This is a spectacular piece. It's stunning. Um, it is framed in a gold frame. And if you look at the wonderful reflection of the sails, this beautiful color, imagine it with a gold frame around it. It's just, just wonderful. Look at the brushwork in the sails. I just melt looking at it, how it captures the light. Um, it's just so interesting. And I'm also very captivated, and I must point out the other ship that is way off and in the distance. And look at the sense of scale that he's given us. And um, for those of you who don't paint, uh, just a reminder that when, when artists are painting, we are working on a two-dimensional surface. This is a flat canvas, and yet he pulls you in there so deep and so far. Um, by, by a sense of scale and also the, the, um, the diminishing light on the subject. And uh, he has wonderful light in here that if you squint, you'll get a little sense of it, but the light is actually, and he's captured in the sky and in the distant water is very, it's very bright. And he has captured a wonderful, uh, a wonderful light in here, not to mention this soft, slow movement of the water in the foreground. It's a beautiful piece. This would be a wonderful addition to anyone's home. Uh, this is a 20 by 20 oil painting by Kirk McBride for $3,000. And now we're moving to Mike Dorsey. Uh, Mike Dorsey has also been in quite a few of our jury shows. And uh, this is I love this piece. This is a spectacular piece. Look at the contrast in here. Uh, look at the waves. They are amazing. And look at his brush stroke to capture these waves. Uh, Mike, you've done a, a fantastic job. We've got some nice warm tones in the rocks and it really offsets the coolness in the, uh, in the ocean. And of course, there's the figure and the dog. Who doesn't love that, you know? And just sitting there, do you, do you I'm, for any of you who's ever been at the ocean, to just sit there and watch and uh, enjoy it. It just gives you that feeling of being there. And, you know, I, it makes me wonder how long the figure and the dog uh, just sat there watching, watching as the waves came in on this spectacular, uh, really stormy day. And this is an 18 by 36 uh, painting. It's at Will. And it's very reasonably priced at $2,200. It's such a stunning piece. Um, you should really be uh, considering this for your home. It would, it's, it's definitely a showstopper. This also from Mike Dorsey, this is called a Reverie. This is 24 by 31. This is a very large piece. It's an oil painting. It is uh, priced at $2,200. Look at the road that comes down this painting and you have this tiny figure. Look at the sense of scale he's giving you here and a lovely capture of sun and shadow um, on, the, on the hillside. 
It's just a wonderful piece. You feel like you can go on forever on this painting. Such a sense of scale going on here. Excellent job, Mike. This one by Mike Dorsey, also Virginia and called. And this is a 16 by 20, it's an oil painting. This has amazing detail in places and such softness in other places. It's such a wonderful balance of, of hard edges and soft edges. It's a very difficult thing to do as an artist. We typically tend to, if we're hard edge people, we tend to paint with hard edges everywhere. And he has really captured some atmosphere. I look at the tops of the purple buildings in the distance. I mean, there's so much atmosphere that he's captured there. And it's very difficult to do as an artist. This is a 16 by 20 oil painting for $2,800. Wonderful job, Michael. And this is from Michael Nozarek. Uh, this is called Shapes of Dawn. It's 12 by 16. It's an oil painting. I have to tell you, the colors in the sky are not, I, I, they just, they're so subtle and they are, they're subtle yet they're pronounced when you see the painting. Uh, there's a lot more, of, I want to say, pinky lavenders going on in there. And even the lit up part that you're seeing in yellow, the colors are, are I, it's hard to describe it. And obviously the camera couldn't pick up on all these nuances that he has captured. But this is just a spectacular painting. It is 12 by 16, it's an oil for $950. This was in our latest jury show and I asked Michael if we could hang on to it. Um, it took first place in the jury show. Congratulations, Michael. Uh, this is a wonderful painting. This is a pastel by Jane Robbins. Jane was also in the jury show with this piece and I asked her if we could hang on to it. Uh, look, at the, look at her crashing wave. It is just spectacular. She is capturing that. It's, this is called Sunstruck. And as a painter who enjoys playing around with the ocean, I tell you this, those greens of that crashing wave, it is so difficult to capture that. And she's done very well. And look at the shadows as the water is crashing down. She has paid very close attention to the shadows. Look at those intense blues and purples that are, are there as that white foam is just breaking. Um, and it's just so well done. Um, 11 by 14 pastel for only $600. Excellent job, Jane. Thank you for letting us keep this in our collection. This here is from Roseanne Stravola. Roseanne also had this piece in our jury show. I think the contrast in this painting is probably slightly off. You squint really hard. It almost makes it a little bit darker, which is probably uh, closer to accurate. This is called Light and Shadow. It is 18 by 18. It's a good sized piece. It's framed in a floater frame. Um, and it's an oil painting for a very reasonable $950. I really like this painting because it's very fresh and modern. And uh, a lot of us are drawn to lily pads and paintings, if, especially if we are Monet lovers. But Monet would send his gardener out in a rowboat to go rearrange the lily pads for his paintings so they would be in the right configuration for what he was envisioning and um, a lot of times we see lily pad paintings like that where they're just left alone in the water but when we actually come across them in reality uh, there are a lot of times where they're among all these grasses and you're actually kind of peeking through the glass, the grasses to see the lily pads and you're hoping to see one that is possibly blooming. And it's just such a natural uh, feeling. And I love the way the grasses bend in and curl and the different colors she has found in her grasses. It's just a, it's a wonderful energetic piece. And I thought that you would all like it very much. So. We asked Rosie and Strofola to keep it here, and this is $950 for an 18 by 18. Lovely uh, addition to anyone's collection. 
this is works by Sabina Kapothanasis. She is one of my students. I am very proud of Sabina, as you might think or expect by the looks of the work that she is doing. Um, Sabina has only been painting for a little over a year, and she was a, a, a drawer before. So she did have a sense of values, but color was a whole new thing. Uh, learning brush stroke and atmosphere, and she just has made it her own. Uh, I'm very, very proud of her. This is called Big Sur. It is 16 by 20. It's an oil painting at an unbelievably reasonable 575. This one is called Gilded Light. Uh, I have to tell you, this painting is so soft. The, the colors in the sky, they just, they just hit you. It looks, it's more, uh, it's a little starker in this image than how it really is. It's just, the light coming through there is just beautiful. And the glow around the sheet is just really nice. It looks almost too pronounced in this uh, photograph. This is a, not a big painting. This is only 12 by 9. It's an oil painting at a super reasonable $250. Uh, if you're looking for a special painting to give somebody for Christmas and you don't know what to get them, uh, if you saw this in person, this painting makes you melt. Uh, who, who wouldn't love to have this lovely painting in their home? And this is called Venice Light, also by Sabina Kepo. Thanasis. It is 18 by 14. It's an oil painting for 475. Um, she lived in uh, Greece for a while in Venice and she uh, has many uh, photos of it and she has been playing around with the atmospheric feeling that is there. She's been doing a lot of Venice paintings. Uh, the colors are probably a little um, I want to say I see more blue in her sky than what's there. So maybe some of the pale blues are not picking up quite, quite right. Uh, but it's a lovely piece. You feel the buildings bending and the canal going around there. And don't miss the, the, the gondola that is down there um, in the curve of the water. It's a lovely piece here. And now we're moving to paintings by Sandy Harper. This one is called Remaining Light. It is 12 by 24, an oil painting for a mere $850. Uh, the color, the light in here is just really, really well done. Uh, Sandy is uh, a pretty representational artist. This is on the soft side for her, especially the darks in the foreground. And uh, I look at the color palette with how many of you have uh, your walls painted in gray right now because that is uh, what is is uh, is fashionable at the moment and look at how wonderful this would sit on a gray wall or any wall it is, it is so soft and subtle that I think in any color scheme this would just be a wonderful piece that would just nestle so perfectly in anyone's home Again, 12 by 24 for $850. And this is Gentle Uprush. This is uh, also by Sandy Harper. It is 12 by 16. Uh, you can really see her, the representational artist that is in her. Look at the waves uh, coming in, the little ripples. I don't mean the big wave coming in and the splash that's happening on the rocks. Look closer to the foreground. Look at these waves coming in. She has that color absolutely accurate. And who doesn't know that? Anyone who lives in Maine or has been to Maine and is seeing those soft little, the remains of those waves, the little layers of thick water, thicker water rippling over, uh, coming forward towards you. She just captures that so, so well. A gentle uprush, 12 by 16, oil painting for $750. And now we move to Shelley Breton. Um, this is called Inner Light. This is a 12 by 16 oil for only $650. I have to tell you, the background on this is not being represented as deep and saturated as what it is. Uh, those flowers just glow. Uh, it's called inner light, and the color on the vase 
they, they just they just seem to almost have a flashlight behind the painting. They glow so much. It is uh, really difficult for the camera to pick up on these types of lights that um, artists are able to capture. This is, uh, like I said, 12 by 16 for 650 by Shelley Breton. This one is called Open the Gate. It's 24 by 24. It's a good sized piece. Uh, it's an oil painting for 1250. And uh, look at the color palette. The light in here is spectacular. And look at the colors. How fun is that? And um, soft edges and hard edges and the play of little, little, um, little bits of wildflowers. Look at uh, by the fence in the front and her chain that is around there and the, the blues that she has uh, instilled in there is just so beautiful. And her color palette, look at it, it's yellow, green, and blue. Uh, such a limited palette and just so, so well done. Open the gate, 24 by 24 for 1250. Look at this lovely winter scene. We, we, we got our taste of this just this week, right? Just the other day. Um, this is a 16 by 20. It's an oil painting and it is priced at a reasonable $900. Um, look at this lovely sunny day with the snow still sticking to all the trees and what a nice day for a walk and uh, enjoying the scenery. I really like the way she's captured the ridge where the uh, walker is and how the ridge just comes down and uh, you have that steep embankment going to uh, possibly frozen water that is down there. Uh, it's just you have a great sense of space in there. She did a great job capturing all that. So this was a 16 by 20 for $900. And this one is called Pop. That's a smaller painting. This is 10 by 10. It's an oil painting. Look at the thick brush strokes she has um, on these hydrangeas in the uh, vase. It's just beautiful. Uh, this is uh, $325. She has a lot of fun dancing colors in the reflection on the table and in the background. This is on gallery wrap. It is unframed and it's either a gallery wrap is typically an inch and a half to two inches thick and it is framed and it is a, it's actually on a, a wood gallery wrap and uh, it is, uh, it sits, it sits on a table or a shelf very easily. It can also be hung. I actually have it on, on a cabinet right now and it, it um, sits very nicely. It's shown very well like that. So you have some options with this at a reasonable 325. Uh, this is some of my works. I am Susan Wu. This is called Afternoon Tea. Um, this is 18 by 14. It's an oil painting for 775. The colors are, are quite off, especially in the background. There are a lot of pretty colors in there that range from purples to blues and reds. And on the photograph, it almost looks more uh, black, but it's not. And I was very pleased with the reflected light that was coming in on the teacup and also the backlit petals of the flowers. If you can come into the gallery, see these works in person, they are, um, some of them just, just do not photograph well. And uh, we also have, and I don't miss the reflection and that is coming in through the window. And uh, you have the ghost, the ghost image of these items in through the window. This one is Coastal Red Roofs. It is 16 by 20 oil painting for $950. Uh, you might be familiar with these red roof houses. They are on Monhegan Island up on um, Lighthouse Hill. The lighthouse is actually located um, closer to the front and on the right. And most artists that paint up here leave the lighthouse out because the buildings are so spectacular on their own. I particularly was captivated by this view up here because if you look, you're seeing the ocean through uh, sets of double windows that are lined up in the house and you can see the ocean right through the house, which is uh, really, really cool. One of the other uh, reasons that this is so um, often 
painted by artists is all these houses, these buildings that are actually connected, whether they were additions or I, it's a, a museum and you can walk through it all inside. Uh, but the way the buildings cast shadows on each other is just uh, very, it's very enticing, intriguing to the artists at, at almost any time of day. So they've been photographed repeatedly and painted so often. I took the liberty to add a few extra wildflowers in the scene because uh, much like other artists, I've painted this more than one time and it was just fun to add a little bit of variety in there. So this is 16 by 20 for 950. This one is called Early Morning. It is 18 by 14, it's an oil for 775. All right, again, the darks in here, much like afternoon tea, are not represented correctly. And the glowing on here, the camera just really couldn't quite capture uh, the glowing. And if you squint at it, you'll see a little bit more of the coloring that is there, uh, but it's a must-see. You, you, you really don't get the uh, full effect by just looking at this photograph. Uh, early morning for 775. This is orange daylilies, 16 by 20. It's an oil painting for 950. To me, this is such a main scene. Um, I taught this in a class. Uh, one of my students brought us this photograph and I just loved it instantly. Um, these tiger lilies, they love Maine and they just grow and they multiply and when they're blooming, they can be spectacular. And with the islands and boats in the background and the dock that you're seeing out there. It just is so typical Maine. I just love it. But such a nice soft feeling for Maine uh, with uh, the flowers rather than just a boat scene. I, I totally love this painting. Uh, 16 by 20 for 950. Be a lovely addition to your home. This one is called Picket Fence Gardens. It is 16 by 20, also an oil painting. For $950. Um, I drove by this property. It was actually a set, I think, of three different houses that were all uh, in a line. They must be all owned by the same person. They had picket fences and so many flowering gardens and lots of yellows and oranges and, and pinky purples. It was just, the sun was shining on it and it was just spectacular. It took my breath away. And um, I think I think the colors, the light in it is probably a little bright on this photo. Uh, if you squint at it or it, it's just, it pops. And I think uh, this is another one of those pieces that if you saw in person, will probably uh, grab you a little more than the photograph is attracting you right now. Uh, this is called Setting Traps. It is 18 by 14, it's an oil painting. I happened upon uh, this lobster boat that was picking up traps, taking out the lobsters, uh, resetting the traps. When I was waiting for the ferry in Diamond Cove one day, it was such a treat. And as you can imagine, my camera was going a little nuts. And uh, so I did this piece from that. And this is uh, an 18 by 14 for 875. This one is called Golden Hour, and it's 18 by 24, an oil painting. It is of Bar Harbor, and I'm sure if you've been there, you definitely recognize it. I loved the action of the water, and not just that the waves were coming in, but that the water was just pouring off all of these rocks. It was just, you know, sometimes you'll catch that big crashing spray, but sometimes just beyond that crashing spray, that water that is just receding off of the rocks can be so spectacular. And I had so much fun painting this with all the range of colors I was seeing and try to capture the movement that was going in there. So I call this golden hour and it was priced at 1550. This is climbing clematis. It is 12 by 12. It's not a big painting. It's oil uh, for 375. It was at the public garden in um, Pineland Gardens. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. 
And I had this lovely trellis and the white clematis going up and the way the light was hitting me, it just really, um, it just really caught me, caught me. And uh, actually when I first came upon it, the sun was behind a cloud and I just love the arrangement of the way the vine was circling around the trellis. And, and I sat there for a while and then suddenly the sun broke through and it just came to life. And so uh, I was just very excited to paint this lovely little piece. So this here is uh, from one of my students. This is Trish Shepard. This is called Floating Lilies. It is 11 by 14 oil for, for only $250. We did a Monet workshop. I taught a Monet workshop at the gallery and we will be teaching others. Um, and we had, I had taken, I've been to a, a huge Monet exhibit in Denver in January. And I took a lot of close-ups of his work so I could see his brush stroke and um, realized that a lot of them made really nice little compositions. And so we did a workshop where we took some of these close-ups and, <clears throat> excuse me, we're trying to um, uh, explore how he was capturing his light. <coughs> excuse me. And uh, so this is a lovely rendition that Trish Shepard has done for us <clears throat> only $250 for an 11 by 14. This one also by Trish Shepard is called Just Because. It is 24 by 18 uh, for just $375. There's some lovely colors in here, a very joyful painting by her. And now we move to works by Valerie Upon It. This one is called Fireweed on the Shore. It is 12 by 19. It's an oil painting for just $700. Look at the lovely color in there. Um, Valerie just has a wonderful direct brush stroke and uh, her work is just very stunning, uh, very contemporary. They are, most of her works are framed by her husband. They're in beautiful um, natural floater frames and they are notched in the corners with three bars of a darker wood. Um, it's, it's very, very well done and um, definitely a creative couple for sure, but she does very well at the gallery and this is just a lovely piece that she's brought us. Thank you, Valerie, for all the new additions that she's brought to us. This one is called Grand Finale in the Barrens. It is 12 by 16, it's an oil painting for just $650. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a tickle in my throat here. So um, this is the Blueberry Barrens in the late in the season and they all turned red. And uh, we recently sold one of those from her and so I'm glad to get another one in here. I have yet to see them like that. We would just really love to experience them when they're this fiery red on the hillside. This one is called Grindstone Neck View. It is 12 by 19. It's an oil painting for $700. Look at her brush stroke, look at her colors. She's just so much fun. This is called Katadi Morning. It is 12 by 16, it's an oil painting. It's got a wonderful reflection, look at that in there. And uh, Katadi Morning is uh, priced at $650. <clears throat> this one is called Passages in Fog. Uh, we have sold quite a few Valerie Ponics that are foggy days. She has an incredible um, sense of light and color and value to be able to capture the feeling of fog. This is 16 by 16 in oil painting for $700. Look at the difference in the light and the colors of how things are saturated as they get in the foreground and how uh, diminished and muted they are when they receive back. This is a very difficult thing to do when Valerie uh, does it very, very well. This is called Student Botanic. It is 18 by 24. It's an oil painting. Um, it is priced at $1,100. Look at the beautiful color in the water right there. It's just wonderful. This one is called Summer Island Streaming. This is a pretty large painting. It is 24 by 36, an oil painting, and it is priced at $2,750. 
I keep bringing my students to this painting because the brushwork in here and the light she's captured is really spectacular. And um, yeah, it can be a lesson to a lot of us. It is a must-see piece. If you're looking for a, large, a larger piece in your home, uh, is this is really spectacular. It's got nice saturated color. Um, it is just, it's, you really should see this painting. It's really, really beautiful. And now we move on to works from Dennis Fournier. Um, some of you know of Dennis Fournier, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of uh, information about him. We did have Dennis Fournier's in the gallery before, but I think it's been probably close to two years since we've had some Dennis, some of Dennis's works, and quite a few of uh, of you that have purchased his work or knew of his work have come in asking about him and about his work. And I want to tell you, Dennis Fournier is homeless. He lives out of his car and he does not stand on street corners asking for money. He stands on street corners and he paints. And uh, this is a little unusual for him. He ended up doing a series of arch tree paintings and he was up on the east end and uh, so it's a little different than his street corner street scenes that we usually see but he paints in Portland and uh, he loves Portland very very much this is a 20 by 24 and this is $800 this is called Warm Birches this piece here, um, he did this little series of birch trees, like I said, so we're very fortunate to have these. They're quite unusual for Dennis. This one is called East End Stroll. It is 16 by 20 for $700. Look at, look at the fun energy he has going on in there. Lovely piece. This one is called East End Mooring, 20 by 24 for $800. Another lovely piece with his um, birch trees. And the last birch tree painting we have from him is called Four Birches. It is 14 by 11 for $600. And this is probably more what some of you remember from Dennis's work. This one is called Yellow Houses. It is 16 by 20 for $700. And here we have him on the street. Uh, a painting and what he's seeing around him is beautiful. Uh, he's known for his purple streets and um, yeah, the light and the, the energy, it's fun, it's contemporary, it's active. And he just, he just has wonderful pieces at a very reasonable prices, 16 by 20 for 700. This one is called Picket Fence. I really love this composition. It's so adorable and the, uh, the colors he's using here are just really, really nice. This is 60 by 20 for $700. Lovely piece, Dennis. Thank you for letting us show it over here. Uh, this one is called Shady Lane. It is 16 by 20 and $700. And I, I forgot to mention, but a week ago, um, Dennis had a stroke and uh, we're praying and hoping that he will recover and be okay. Uh, but at this time, uh, more than ever, we could really use your support. So if there are any of these pieces that you're attracted to and you would uh, like to add to your collection or give to somebody for the holidays, um, I'm sure any sales would be greatly appreciated by Dennis at this point. So this was Shady Lane, 16 by 20 for $700. This one is called Brick House. This one is fairly large. It's 30 by 24 for $800. Uh, working later in the, in the year because he does paint plein air. Uh, the leaves have come down. As you can see, the tree is bare. And uh, he still captures some nice movement. He loves to put people in his paintings. And um, which is a little challenging to do if you're painting plein air because no one will stand there and pose for you for a grand amount of time. So it has to be pretty good at being able to get the gestures of people in there. This one is called Clock Tower. Look at the lovely purple street. His color palette is so wonderful. 
and uh, this is 24 by 20 for $800. Lovely piece, very, very nice piece. This one is called Six Chimneys, um, 24 by 20 for 800. I, I am so uh, drawn to this piece. I, I love that the cars are parked on the sidewalk. And we know that on the narrow streets, right? People are doing that. Look at the shadows he has going on in the foreground in the street. It's like a, an amazing abstract painting uh, put into a very contemporary uh, form of realism. It's just, a, it's a really a fun, fun painting. And then there's the black railed, um, that, that, that gate fence, you know, we all know those fences in, um, in Portland. And she just has so much in here and the fire escape. It's just a wonderful piece. Six chimneys, 24 by 20 for, for just $800. This one is called Corner Store. His uh, 20 by 24 again for 800. The, the color palette is very different on this. It's a very warm color palette. Uh, he went into some very, very soft, um, muted lavenders uh, in the streets, but mostly he has pulled in warm tones. Um, it's a very different color palette for him, but his style is certainly um, very evident in here as well. Beautiful piece, Dennis. And this is our final piece today. This is called Clean House. It is 24 by 30 for 950. Uh, really lovely piece. I want to thank you for um, being with us tonight. And um, if you're interested in any of these paintings, please uh, do get in touch. I'm Susan Root. My phone number is 207-576-7787. Thank you very much.